the nature of the film festival appeals to many different interest groups. Um, from an organizational standpoint, um, the same types of people that thrive in academia are good event planners as well. Um, in terms of the content of the festival, um, the what we do with programming from the documentary programming to experimental to um, even animation just appeals to people in a university town, faculty, students, staff, um, retirees. We offer programming that they don't get here otherwise and it, it brings people out of all interest groups. In the past I've known there have been law students that have come and, and volunteered and then they've met filmmakers and they've met other people and then they've, they've then gone out to LA and gotten internships and things like that. They can make connections here that they wouldn't otherwise be able to make and a lot of times you can send emails and you can write letters but until you can meet someone and talk to them face to face it's just hard to make that connection. And it's a great opportunity. We have parties and, and the filmmakers come and a lot of the industry people are here and so they get a chance to put a name with a face and make those connections. We could not have this festival be a success without the support of the university. We've developed partnerships across campus with, um, certainly with media and documentary projects, um, with events today at the Overby Center, um, the law school with um, the Intellectual Property Institute. We had attorneys there from LA, New York, DC, Atlanta, people that represent Google and that represent Woody Allen and, and the Faulkner estate. And so we're bringing these people in and, and they, who otherwise would not be here but for the film festival and these opportunities and it's just, they're here in Oxford and this is the first time they've been in Oxford for a lot of them and it's just, a, they're open and they're welcome and they want to talk to people about what's going on. It's a fantastic opportunity.